So when we look at the physical process of cleaning, we can look at it through the eyes of the Sinner Circle. Recall that Sinner was a Swiss chemist that first described a very simple model for the process of cleaning. The four key factors were chemistry, mechanical action, temperature, and time. Any one of these factors will actually contribute or modify the final outcome for the cleaning process. When we talk about chemistry, we're talking about things like surface active agents or surfactants, keylants, and pH as the main factors. When we talk about temperature, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's the energy that's in the water that we're using to clean. It can be high temperature or low temperature. When we talk about mechanical action, we can talk about the pressure of the water jet stream that we're using. We can talk about actual mechanical scrubbing or scraping. And when we talk about time, we're talking about the contact time. So what is the actual time that the detergent agent or the soaking solution is in contact with the soil. Any one of these factors, as I said, will influence the cleaning process. So for example, if we don't use a detergent, we will have a difficult time with hydrophobic soils. And recall that hydrophobic soils are the types of soils that do not have an affinity for water. So if we're not using a detergent, in order to remove those soils, we either will have to use a higher pressure or we're gonna to have to use scraping, let's say as in mechanical action, or we will have to use a higher temperature for the soaking solution or for the rinse solution, or we will have to wait a longer amount of time for removal to occur. And so you can see how the factors are interrelated.